Since university, coffee in its many forms, from instant to espresso, has become a staple in my life. But it wasn't until about four years ago, when I bought my first espresso machine from a garage sale, that I started to develop a more involved interest in the beverage. So when I stumbled across Flair's manual espresso machine, I was immediately intrigued. This beautifully simple device, relying on little more than boiled water, a lever, and a little elbow grease, involves you directly in the espresso brewing process. Albeit along with all the inconsistencies that humans bring. So if you're the kind of person who can't get out of bed in the morning, or function until you've had a coffee, this machine may not be right for you. If, however, you're like me, and espresso is a hobby that you tinker with, the Flare Espresso Machine is the best tool I've found for immersing yourself in the intricacies of brewing espresso. And it's given me a greater appreciation and understanding of how each piece of the puzzle, from bean roast to pressure profiling, impacts the final beverage. Starting at about 150 or 200 US dollars if you include the pressure gauge, this machine is certainly not cheap. But I have been really happy with mine, and pleasantly surprised with how much more I've learned about brewing espresso. To make espresso, you start by boiling water. While your kettle does its thing, prepare the brew chamber by sliding the stainless steel plunger adapter into the barrel and placing it upside down in an empty glass. You can then slide the plastic funnel atop the portafilter and zero their weight on a kitchen scale. Once the water is boiled, fill the brew chamber glass until it's completely submerged. This ensures that the chamber doesn't suck the heat out of the water while brewing. While it heats, grind about 17 grams of fresh medium roast beans into the portafilter. Then use the plastic tamper to centralize the grinds and tamp evenly with light pressure. Once you're happy with the tamp, place the dispersion screen atop the portafilter, remove the brew chamber from the hot water using tongs, and be careful not to burn yourself on the hot steel, press it into the portafilter, fill it up with hot water, insert the pressure gauge, and apply pressure using the lever. It should take some effort, but not an unreasonable amount, to generate espresso-worthy pressure using the flare, so be careful not to apply too much force. If you find that it's taking a lot of effort, you may have something else wrong like grind size that you may have to revisit in order to make it work. I highly recommend spending the extra money to get the pressure gauge kit though, to help with troubleshooting and to ensure you don't break the machine by forcing it. It took me a bag of beans and a week or so to start pulling consistent shots with the flare, so like I said, be ready to tinker and learn a lot, and don't get discouraged if it doesn't work the first time. But now that I've started to get a grasp of it, I'm quite happy starting my days with an iced latte and the pride that comes with understanding a little more about how the beverage was formed. Overall, I'm really happy with the style and build quality of the Flare Espresso Machine. It also takes up less counter space than my old espresso machine did, which is always welcome in my tiny apartment. The biggest drawbacks of the Flare are the time it takes and the lack of steaming wand for frothing milk when making specialty drinks. To get around this, I picked up a simple frothing jug, which does a decent job and saves a little time. You'll also need to invest in a decent grinder, with at least 60 grind settings so that you can tune in the proper size of the grind. This isn't cheap and is where I spent most of my time when tinkering. At the end of the day, the flare is a beautiful tool for making great espresso, but you'll have to learn how to wield it properly. If that's something you're interested in, consider picking one up using one of the affiliate links I'll leave below to help support this channel. Otherwise, however you make it, enjoy your coffee while you consider subscribing and like this video. See you next time.